as a ministry, we have started, we have actually drafted our policy, our uh, science, technology, and innovation, innovation policy. We've also drafted a bill to be presented to parliament, for which I'm a member, to ensure that this commitment to commercialize our scientific findings will be a realized dream in the future. We have set up a number of uh, strategies and a number of strategic directions to ensure that uh, it will become a reality, especially this particular year. Having been in office for one year, we believe it is about time to ensure that science, technology, and innovative drives our country and that we will, as a result, see a very high level of development in Ghana. Cassava is consumed as a staple crop in many regions of the developing world. It has become the most important root crop in Ghana and an important staple food as well. The potential of the crop is large because it offers the cheapest source of calories and the highest yield per unit area. It has also multiple, multiple roles as farming reserve, food and cash crop, industrial raw materials, and livestock food It is a root crop of choice to industrial, uh, it is a root, uh, a root crop of choice to subsistence farmers because it provides food security and cash income when required. The importance of cassava, therefore, cannot be underestimated. Government has initiated two flagship projects that have great potential for boosting agro-business activities and impacting the cassava industries in many ways. These flagship programs are the planting for food and jobs and the one district, one factory programs. The planting for food and jobs program is expected to increase the production of maize by 30%, rice by 19%, soybean by 25%, and sorghum by 28% from current production levels. This program will create 750,000 jobs in both direct and indirect employment. This is to be supported by the provision of highly subsidized fertilizer and other inputs. Cassava is slated to be rolled up into, this, uh, into the program this year. The One District, One Factory program is essentially public-private partnership for ensuring nationwide spread of industrialization in all the 216 districts of Ghana. We have actually increased it very soon. We are getting close to uh, the 275 that we want to see. The first stage of the program is to see the commissioning of 10 factories and cassava processing factories are significantly represented in this initiative. The program has so far generated pledges to the tune of $3 billion from both local and foreign investors. The government 
through the Ezem Bank, Ghana is currently supporting three entrepreneurs to establish cassava processing factories in Damango, Edura, and Kintampo to process cassava into high quality cassava flour. This underscores government commitment to developing the cassava industry in Ghana. These notwithstanding, we must not lose sight of the fact that the cassava industry is bedeviled with a number of challenges, which you as technocrats and agribusiness experts are expected to resolve in order to ensure sustainability of the industry. Notable among these are the low yields, pests and diseases, price competitiveness, market access, and the limited number of large-scale processes of cassava in the industry. I have, however, reliably informed that the Cover 2 project has made uh, cover project, not the two, the cover project has made significant strides in resolving some of these issues. Farmers working with the project in the Volta, Eastin, Brong, Ahafo, and Central regions in Ghana have recorded significantly high yields in their cassava crops. Market access has been improved, leading to high volumes of cassava being moved through the value chain to create an income of over $5 million for farmers. This is very laudable. But we would agree that there's still a lot of grounds to be covered. The diversity of secondary products cassava offers makes it very useful root crop. More than 40% of cassava is currently processed, mainly into traditional products, thereby reducing losses and adding value. Apart from its use as food, cassava is very versatile and its derivatives are applicable in many types of products such as ethanol, confectionery, sweetness, glues, plywood, textiles, paper, and biodegradable products. Cassava chips and pellets are also used in animal feed and alcohol production. All the above mentioned products represent the potential market develop opportunities for cassava. However, only few industries are currently set up in Ghana to produce these end products using cassava as a raw material. The need for our technocrats to develop cost-effective technologies that would attract investors to invest and address the bottlenecks cannot be overemphasized. Considering that in 2016, Ghana moved from seventh to sixth position as in the hierarchy of leading cassava producers, worldwide, and the fact that cassava contributes about 22% of national agricultural D GDP, we have no excuse to continue to be where we are in the global cassava industrialization drive. Hence, the reason for the selection of cassava as one of the crops for government flagship program, the one district, one factory program.
Cassava adding value for Africa, that is Kaba project, is funded by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and is in its second phase, having had a successful first phase from 2008 to 2030. I believe that by the time the project ends in March 2019, this impressive gathering of experts from various countries would have sufficiently had to achieve objectives of increasing the income of 200,000 cassava value chain actors, especially smallholder farmers and processors in Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania, Uganda, and Malawi, by at least $177 million U.S. dollars to the joy and the satisfaction of our family, our farmers in particular. I'm very happy to be part of your review program. May your deliberations be very fruitful and lead to concrete decisions that, in, that will inure to the benefit of smallholder farmers, other cassava value chain actors, and the economy of the various countries represented in this program. I wish you all the best and good luck.